Welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you how to download the free curriculum available from the Core Knowledge Foundation. A couple of things before I walk you through the downloading process. First, you will need a place to store these files. That can be on your computer, laptop, or tablet. It can also be on a cloud device, such as an iCloud, Google Drive, or Dropbox account, something like that. The files you'll be downloading are in a zipped format. This means they'll be faster to download, but it also means you'll have to unzip them if your computer doesn't do that automatically. If you don't know how to unzip a file, Google should have instructions for you. The files you'll be downloading are in a PDF format. They are very high quality and they're colorful. This means that they're also big files. An entire grade level of curriculum is going to require one to two gigabytes of storage space depending on the grade level. Now that's a lot of storage space. If you don't have that much storage space available, remember you can download one unit for each subject at a time. A unit is generally only maybe under 10 megabytes, not very much. When you're done with a unit, you can delete those files and download the next unit. All right, for this video, I'm going to show you how to download the videos using a Windows desktop computer or laptop. If you're using a Mac or a tablet, the only thing about this process that should change is what happens to the files when you download them and how you'll save them to your device. Those processes should be the same as any other file you download on that device on a regular basis. The part where I show you how to access the files on the Core Knowledge website though, that will be the same regardless of the device you're using. Here are the file downloads I'll walk you through in this video. First, I'm going to show you how to download the history and geography units. These instructions are going to be the same regardless of whether you're downloading kindergarten all the way up through eighth grade. Next, I'll show you how to download the science units. And again, those instructions apply whether you're kindergarten, third grade, eighth grade, doesn't matter. Now, by that point, you're gonna be pretty good at this. So I'm gonna give you a brief overview of how to download the language arts units for fourth through eighth grade. Since those unit files have the same downloading process as the history and science units, you should be able to do that pretty easily. Okay, then I'm gonna show you how to download the language arts units, including the skills units for kindergarten through third grade. Now, this one is a little more tricky as there are two strands of, um, of curriculum and then there's a set of ancillary files too for each grade level. And you'll need to download all of that if you're using any of the grades between kindergarten and third grade. So please stick around so I can walk you through that and not only show you how to download them, but explain to you how to organize those files so you can find what you need later. And finally, I'll show you how to find and download the Core Knowledge Scope and Sequence document. This one is optional, but it's a great thing to have because it gives you a high level of what your student will be learning, as well as the cohesiveness of the Core Knowledge curriculum across subjects and grade levels. Okay, let's get started by downloading the history and geography units we'll use for third grade as an example. But these instructions will work for all grade levels of history and geography. Okay, first you wanna create a folder on your hard drive or in your cloud account where you can drop these history and geography files as you download them. So you can see here that I've created a file folder for third grade core knowledge history and geography and I've named that CKHG. Now go ahead and leave that open. Next, we're gonna open the Core Knowledge website and you'll see right here at the top of the website is a link to download the free curriculum. So let's click on that. And now you're on a page that will list every single unit for all the various subjects and grade levels Core Knowledge offers. This is hundreds and hundreds of units. So let's make this a little easier by clicking on these filters over here on the left-hand side. In this case, we wanna narrow it down to third grade history and geography. Okay, so once that change takes effect, we will have only the units for history and geography for third grade. Okay, go ahead and click on unit one, which is the World Rivers unit. So here's the download page for unit one. You'll see here at the top, there's information about this unit, including what the unit covers and the average time for the lessons if the lessons are being taught in a classroom setting. Okay, don't worry too much about this information. Go ahead and scroll down and you'll come to this section where you'll need to enter your name and email address to access the free curriculum. Now, Core Knowledge is a nonprofit foundation and in my experience, they're very responsible with this type of information. I only get emails from them occasionally um, and they're typically pretty useful. Um, they mainly send out emails when they have new units available. 
um, they're still releasing these a lot of middle school units. So they'll send out an update typically when something new is available. So once you've put in your info, you'll jump to a screen that looks like this. And you'll just go ahead and click on that button that says download entire unit. So that will start the automatic download process. And in most cases, that zip folder will appear in the bottom of your taskbar. Now, if you don't see it there, you need to check your Windows download folder. Now remember, while these are zipped files, they're still pretty big. If you have a slow internet connection, it could take a few minutes, so be patient. Don't keep clicking the download button. Once it's finished downloading, you'll just click and drag the downloaded folder from the taskbar to your open and waiting folder you created. Now, if you have space on your hard drive or in your cloud account and you wanna download more than one history unit, you'll simply click on the button that says next unit, scroll down, click on the download entire unit button, and then once that's download, done downloading, you'll click and drag that into the folder. Now you can continue that process for all the history and geography units for that grade. Just download each unit, drag it into the folder. Once you're done, take a quick look at the folder names. Typically they're pretty clear. This first one here is CKHG for Core Knowledge, History and Geography. G3 stands for grade three. U1 for unit one and the name of the unit. Now, every once in a while, one of these folders comes through and it's not clear from the name what unit it is. So remember, you can always rename the folder if you need to. So before we move on, let's take a quick look at the folder we downloaded for unit one. So go ahead and click on that folder. Now, you might get a message about unzipping the folder or you may have to click again depending on your computer, but eventually, <laughs> keep going, you should get to this set of PDF files. And so here you'll see the files for the teacher's guide, the student reader, the passport images, etc. And when you're ready, you'll watch my videos on how to use the Core Knowledge History and Geography curriculum to learn about how to use these files. One more thing before we move on to science. Sometimes history and geography units are combined into the same set of materials. And this can be really confusing the first time you see it. So let's look at an example for these third grade history and geography units. Okay, here we are in unit five, which is focused on Canada. And right up here at the top in this red colored message, letting you know that this unit about Canada is combined with the exploration of North American unit, which is unit six. Now, Core Knowledge does this so that the hard copy readers they offer to schools and they just sell on their website um, can be combined so that two short units end up in one regular size printed reader. Now, once you get the hang of this, it's not so bad. <laughs> so when you downloaded the unit five here, you're actually downloading the materials for both units five and six. If you were to download unit six, you'll just get a duplicate set of materials. It's not really a big deal. And thankfully, this only happens with an occasional history and geography unit. I've never seen this happen with science or language arts materials. Let's move on and download the third grade science units next. First step, again, is to make a folder on your hard drive or cloud account so you can drop in those downloaded folders. Okay, go ahead and keep that folder open. Next, we'll click on the Download Free Curriculum button again, and this time we will use the filter to find the third grade science materials. Once we do that, we'll see there are five units available. So we'll use the same process to download the science files as we did the history files. Go ahead and click on the first unit for investigating forces. Now, if you're doing this on the same day you downloaded the history and geography files, then you're likely not going to have to re-enter your email address. So you'll just be able to go click on the download entire unit button. Once it's downloaded, click and drag that folder into the new folder you just created. And then if you have space on your drive or in your cloud account for more than one science unit, go ahead and scroll down and click next unit and repeat that process until you have downloaded all the science units for that grade level. Okay, so now we will go back to the main curriculum page and we're going to download the language arts curriculum. Now, a quick note, for fourth grade and up, the process to download the language arts curriculum is exactly the same process you just used to download the history and science units. You'll create a language arts folder on your drive. You'll go to the Core Knowledge website and just use the filters to select the grade level and language arts. Click on the first unit. 
download the files, drag them into your waiting folder, move on to the next unit and repeat the process. Now for kindergarten through third grade, Core Knowledge splits language arts into two separate curriculum strands and there's also a folder of ancillary components that you'll need. So the steps I'm about to walk you through are only for kindergarten through third grade language arts. Okay, so first I want you to create a folder on your drive for third grade language arts. Next, go ahead and click on that and you're going to create two subfolders. One, for Core Knowledge Language Arts Listening and Learning Units, and we'll just call that one CKLA, and then one for the Core Knowledge Language Arts Skills Units, and let's just call that folder Skills. Now go ahead and move back to the main Language Arts folder. Jumping back to the Core Knowledge website this time, we will use the filter to find the third grade language arts curriculum. So the first thing you'll want to do here is click on this top option, the CKLA Ancillary Materials for Third Grade Skills. Now this file is gonna contain a number of materials you'll be using during all of third grade to teach your student reading, spelling, grammar, and more. Right now though, just worry about getting it downloaded into the right folder. Later when you watch the videos about how to use the skills curriculum, I'll show you exactly what's in this folder and how you're gonna use it. Scroll down and click on Download Entire Unit. Once it's finished downloading, click and drag that folder into the main language arts folder you created. Next, go ahead and open the CKLA subfolder you created a few minutes ago. Now jump back to the Core Knowledge website and let's click the back button to get back to the list of all the Core Knowledge third grade language arts units so we can start by downloading the listening and learning units and these are the CKLA domain units here on the site. Click on CKLA domain one and this one is titled Classic Tales, The Wind in the Willows. Scroll down and click on download entire unit. Once it's finished downloading, click and drag that folder into the CKLA subfolder you created. Now, if you have drive space to download more than one language arts unit, go ahead and scroll down and click on next unit and repeat this process with the other units for that grade level. So if you're downloading grade three, for example, there are 11 units total. Once you're done downloading those units, move into the skills subfolder you created earlier on your drive. Go back to the page on the Core Knowledge website listing all the language arts units for third grade, scroll down there until you see CKLA Unit 1, Third Grade Skills, and this unit is titled Classic Tales. Go ahead and click on that unit. Scroll down and click on that Download Entire Unit button. Once it finishes downloading, you'll click and drag that folder over to your Skills subfolder. Now again, if you have drive space for more than one unit, go ahead and scroll down to the bottom, click next unit and repeat the process for all the skills units for that grade. And if you're downloading third grade, there are 11 skills units to download. Now I realize it seems confusing to have these subfolders for language arts and skills curriculum, but once you watch the videos to learn how to use both these sets of resources, I promise you will be glad you have them organized this way and it will be much more clear why we did so. All right, that's it. Once you've downloaded the history, geography, science, and language arts units for the grade you need, all those files will be organized and you can move on and watch my videos for e on each subject area to learn how to use the materials. Okay, before you go, let's navigate back to the main core knowledge curriculum download page one last time. Right there at the top, you'll see the CK sequence, which lays out the entire list of what your student will learn in each grade of the core knowledge curriculum. Not only is this helpful to give you an overview, it can also help you understand the wider cohesive nature of core knowledge across a single school year as well as between grade levels. Okay, so that's it for this download video. Your next step is to be sure to download the free organization and preparation documents from my website, homeschoolworkplans.com. Those documents will include a daily schedule for using the core knowledge curriculum, as well as supply lists and checklists for getting ready to teach your student. 
I also have a number of videos available showing you how to use not only the core knowledge curriculum, but also a free high quality math program that's available to download from the Center for Innovation and Mathematics Teaching. That's it for now. See you soon.